Alrighty, we are back with part three of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I just posted part two. That should be up. This one's going to be up uh, two days later after that one. So I'm going to still try to upload these daily, but some stuff had came up with work, so I couldn't get home to record. But my uh, my girlfriend has joined us in the back because we were both off today. So yeah, I, I don't really... I remember we left off with the plants, so... But nothing, nothing crazy. So let's let's get. It. I want to get an umbrella soon. All right, continue. Mm -mm -mm. All right, yeah. So we're at the plants. What's our next thing? What is this? Uh, I guess we'll go there. Alrighty. Yeah, hopefully I can get a better capture card and a webcam and stuff, you know, in the future. Um, and I think I'm gonna do my Maybe next play or two. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogwarts. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look hmm. completely. I think I'm gonna get a uh, a uh, like scary game to do next. So hopefully, hopefully that one will do better. All right, we got Sebastian and other people. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. Uh -uh. I simply need a single fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. 
Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fwooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Remember, precision is brewing potion. Eggs. Is there a feather in here? Your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Gareth. Hello again. Here's the fruit feather you wanted. Knew you'd come around. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. <laughs> I'm thinking. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Oh God. Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Oh, no. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. No. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for <laughs> one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of the term. Off on another adventure, are we? Let's see, what are we... Are we looking at inventory? Mm. Our resolver, we're going to really have increased nerve activity outside. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Oh yeah, we're definitely traveling. <clears throat> I, I kind of have to like rejog myself on what happened last. I don't really completely remember. The video you guys seen was two days ago for me. So. Professor Howard is telling me 
And then hopefully this weekend I can record a couple so that I have them ready. Um, this one should go up probably tomorrow at noon. I want to try to uh, post them all at noon. I've already had some people send me uh, screenshots of them, watching hey, them all the way it's through. It's me, Gareth. Uh, you there! Uh, yes, you! I wonder if you might uh, come... You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. We go a little faster, Sir Nicholas. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Okay. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. What's wrong with all this? That fade of a tree! Okay, so we're probably gonna need. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it, just right. One can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Get that book. Okay. Revelio. A student never In will on chance students. What could they want? Doesn't that test is likely? You know Certainly how only makes rookies job easier. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> Where would I find that? <clears throat> um. Oh god. Ugh. There's a disgusting smell. It must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Mick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Finky supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. It smells glorious in here. Are we still all there? All there? Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. 
Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? T Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. But once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from a young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. He's using us. 100% he's using us. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, you jest. <sighs> It's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite... Yeah. But, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. So we got to find the dude's head. <clears throat> and we can talk to him about the book. The headsman could only see me now. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Wait, I want to look at that. Damn it, man. Where is that? Okay, so we're going to do a value on the Revelio. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit.
bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him, oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Okay. Begin! Cast away until you find him! <laughs> Whatever you say, Dumfrey. Rebellion. Not my finest moment. Oh, what's wrong? Well, good job, I suppose. But we're not through with you. Rebellion. I've never seen it played like this. How delightful. What's this? thought a mortal would be so good at this. You've almost got him. Oh, Rebellion. I've never seen it played like this. <clears throat> Is it over yet? Are we still going? Revelio. I'd do that too if I had a wand and a body. Why did I come back? Revelio. You're sure to find him. Oh, what fun! A student is playing. Akio. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Okay. Not too bad <laughs> for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go? Okay. I need those pages, <clears throat> so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Get this paper that we saw. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Accio. Levioso. 
Need. That's cool. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? So there's bad guys over here? Right. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. <clears throat> Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. And you. Back here. Levioso. I think we're just gonna try to run past them. How nice to see you, my young friend. I wonder if they can see us. Turn back around.
Expelliarmus. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Send you. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Revelio. oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. This place is really pretty. There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Fratego! Seems your heart, isn't it? Always on the defensive. <laughs> I won't rest. Dead. That was pitiful! That was unimpressive! Quite finished. Stupid. 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 Stupid
No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora has led me. It's kind of hard. Let's do it. Die here a lot. I wonder how big this place is. I feel like we're very unclipped. Revelio. This room must have something to do with opening this door. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Put that on, I feel like that's gonna do something for us. Let's go to 
gear. Oh, these fucking spiders are hard, man. Everywhere. Oh, shit. We're looking cool as fuck. Not really. Um, I think we will take this off. What can we put on, though? Cloak. Where no, we need that. Our character looks so ridiculous. But I think maybe we'll go to uh, Hodges Meat in a little bit and buy some stuff. <coughs> Alright. We didn't even have to come through here. <laughs> I'm so stupid. the symbol. Shit that we did in part two just was not, I didn't enjoy it that much. Hopefully part three is better. So do we go? Let's go here. What's up little guys? It's a good thing Jack Daw didn't fall down there. help myself to this. Akio. Let's see we go and look at all these. Hey, 
Touched chest. Teratol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Akio. Mm -hmm. uh. There it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what we're headed to. Teratol. Rodrigo. Stupid spider. I thought you're a deadly great spider. Oh my God. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jack came. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on. Alrighty, I'm sorry, I'm back. I got a phone call, so I had to answer that real quick. But, so we killed. Find the missing pages. Oh yeah, we got a... I need to look around for the symbol. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. I feel like they're luring us in here to do it. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, we gotta fight these fucking night dudes. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna fucking do that. What's up, homie? Must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. Oh my God, it's the big ones. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. 
Here it is. No. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Terribly hard. But that's unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. being protected. What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Before we do that, just in case, I want to check all of our gear. Make sure we have the best stuff that we can on. Unidentified. To reveal room of requirements. Okay, so we'll take it there. Headwear. Yeah, that hat does a lot, man. Place the room requirements. Okay. 
It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. No. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Okay, okay, I see. Dark arts, stealth. What's this? Let's do this one. Let's do stealth all the way. to curse targets inflict damage to all curse targets okay So I'm gonna guess that we're gonna go get Professor Fig and all that stuff, and then come back. But I wanna go to the room requirements and assemble those two things that we got. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? What are you up to now? Oh, this is really cool. I don't think I have to go through any of that anymore. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I... Okay, we have to go to... The Dark Arts. with till he returns with the book.
Revelio. Okay, well, I need to go there, bro. Off on another adventure, are we? We can get our broom. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do this will take, take some care. Getting used to. The brooms are school property. Wish I had my own. I want broom. them returned in one piece. Mm. 
Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! <laughs> this is rather fun! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. This is really cool. I wonder if I'll get to use this in my crew or not. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Huh. Ah. Hey, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Okay. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. She's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. That's cool. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Bitch. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. 
You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right, we're going to get one right now. Let's go Hogsmeade. All right. Oh, okay, we can't go there. We're gonna go look at um some new gear too. Hogsmeade, here I come. My advice when dealing with Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? We can afford one. Let's, uh, sell this. Nice doing business with you. Wait, literally, a comfortable and speedy broom with a unique origin design. Thank you. crafted for for story. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Yeah, we're gonna go for this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Cool. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Okay, so how do we do that? How do we get our broom? Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. 
Never trust the man. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to hogs. You, Gryffindor. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Yeah, fuck you. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Yeah, bitch. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Rather fun. Brilliant. Wasn't too bad. Ugh, that's not 
Oh, you must have cheated, you... Oh, fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect oh, from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next... Be glad to hear how I fared. You're not cast to... Oh, you're back! With something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates? All right, let's see. Kind soul, help me. No. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Okay, let's go. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. There's a lot of secrets at this place. Hmm. How
How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. Revelio. Her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand <clears throat> movement. I'm gonna get it the incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Couldn't bring up. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? 
When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? So he's just telling To everything. Gringotts. Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this oh. between us. I trusted you with knowledge okay. of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place, and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Oh, this guy's got a... Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Should we help her? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> Imelda is one. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <laughs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway... I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I guess we go find them. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio.
Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio. Move. Got it. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. These are hard to find. Levioso! Accio! I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Let me go, Handy resource indeed. Revelio. Let me go, I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! Yeah, this is stupid. 
I know I got myself into this. Revelio. Where? Akio. Well, we're here. Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. And I should go and see her. You've had more luck than I did tracking down my gob. Hello, Zenobia. We're skipping this. Of course. Let I'm sure that. Only because I know we're right here, so just go straight to it. Um. Professor Weasley. These little side quests and stuff are like mm. kind of boring. Somewhere away from prying I'm eyes. I'm just trying to get them done so that Professor Fig can get back and we can continue with the main story. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What the hell are they doing? I know what they're doing. 
That's what Weasley's trying to get. Yeah, no. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast. Go on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Expelliarmus! Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Oh my god, I thought she was gonna yell at me. Revelio. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us. Akio. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Hmm. I like how it's what was that? Crazy loud. Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> um. Akio! Ah, 
shield. Incendio. Hope that house elf can find us in here. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay, I need to find some shit. I found in the cave, so. Given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed.
This stuff's boring, we're just trying to clear it all out. Sorry guys. But yeah, I don't know, I mean like, I really do appreciate people who are watching these videos like all the way through and keeping up with the story. Um, if you if you see this part, I want you to uh, comment Apple so that we can see who's actually watching all the way through. So, let's see. He does it. So where are these? Okay. Oh, there's some cool brooms. Challenges. You get brooms and challenges. Alright. We will go to press. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. So. <laughs> potion. And a potion station.
well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. So like I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Now. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Oh, yeah, we're going to Professor Fig. Sorry, Mrs. Weasley, you're going to have to fuck off so we could do this. I think if, if this goes how I think we'll go, we'll, we'll end off here with that. Because we've been recording for two hours. So, But I wanted to make sure that I included Professor Fig in this part. I'd say episode. These are episodes. I think. I was hoping to see you. Yeah, well, I was hoping You're to back. see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and- You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say yes. that. Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw. He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I, I was hoping you'd say that. Ab. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Alrighty. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. To think it was beneath us all this time. It always is. map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. 
And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, None of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces Traces of a powerful, dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Okay. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. All right. Main quest. Okay, so we have to go to those. Holy shit. Alright, well, let's get as close as we can. Class. Okay, well I think we're going to end it off there.
and in part four we will come back and do all these side quests um get all these little upgrades and stuff and then we will go to percival rackham's trial and do the main quest um yeah that that i feel like that's a great place to end it off um we'll check our our collections and stuff but yeah i feel like next part of this episode is going to be you know very very nice compared to the other episodes that we have done so far so we'll do those in the next one um just remember if you got this far comment apple so that i know who watches um but yeah i appreciate you guys even stopping by and clicking on the video make sure to leave a like subscribe and leave a comment let me know what you think about the series um i'm open to any other games uh, this one's probably going to be a very long series so if i could fit in another series in the middle to kind of alternate the games i'm playing i will do that but yeah thank you guys for coming to the video i appreciate it and i will see you in part four where we do all the quests and the main quests goodbye